Hello, welcome to Vocal. To repair bolt threads, they are often recut with a die. This can lead to different results due to the permissible tolerance overlaps between the die and the thread to be recut. We will now show you what these are. The result essentially depends on whether the thread to be recut is manufactured closer to the permissible minimum value or closer to the maximum value within the permissible thread diameter. The same applies to the dies, which can also be made larger or smaller within the permissible thread diameter tolerances. For example, the thread to be recut may be smaller than the die, as shown in this diagram. In this case, the die can be screwed onto the thread to be recut very easily. There may even be a small gap between the two. The die will remove any severe thread defects but there will be no significant chip removal during the recutting process. The exact opposite occurs when the thread to be recut is larger within the tolerances than the thread of the die. In this application situation, chip removal occurs in the thread during the recutting process. The greater the difference between the die and the thread to be recut, the more chips are produced. Particularly when recutting larger thread diameters, greater force can be applied. But even if the recut thread is slightly smaller in diameter than before, it is still within the permissible tolerances. However, it may also be the case that the thread diameter of the round die is exactly or approximately the same as the diameter of the thread to be recut. If this is the case, the die can be turned onto the thread to be recut with moderate force and without any noticeable gap. The thread is smoothed with little or no chip removal. Not only the actual dimension of the cutting tool, but also the actual dimension of the thread to be recut is decisive in determining which possibility occurs. Follow us for more.